story you're about to hear is one of the most harrowing and unsettling accounts I've ever encountered. To be completely candid, I received this letter long before I even considered introducing the series The Bible and Sex. In fact, it was the catalyst for the entire series. This email, with its disturbing and graphic content, has haunted me ever since. It's a story meant for mature audiences only, as its chapters delve into depths of anguish and despair that may challenge your understanding of concepts as deeply personal as masturbation. What makes this story so eerie is its stark portrayal of the torment and confusion that can accompany sexual sin. It's not just about the physical act, but the profound spiritual and mental toll it takes. As someone who has also struggled with masturbation, I found this narrative disturbingly relatable. The impact on my mental, physical and spiritual life has been profound, though my journey to deliverance didn't involve the vivid dreams and visions experienced by our protagonist. As you listen to this story, you will uncover truths about the value and dangers of succumbing to temptations that the underworld uses to ensnare us. It's a cautionary tale about the bondage of sexual sin, a dark and twisted path that can leave one feeling trapped and hopeless. I invite you to share your own struggles with sexual sin in the comments below. Let's build a community of support and understanding where we can stand together in this fight against sin. We all need each other, especially in times of darkness. With that said, let's get into today's story, a journey through the shadows that may change Change the way you view temptation and redemption. The dream begins. My name is Bernardo and I am a 55-year-old believer from Belo Horizonte, Brazil. Raised in a devout Christian family, I have always been taught the importance of prayer, reading the Bible and living a holy life. Yet, like many, I have struggled with certain temptations, particularly masturbation. Little did I know that this seemingly private act would lead me into a dark and disturbing revelation. One night, after a long battle with this sin, I had a dream that changed my life forever. Though the details are hazy, the emotions and images are etched into my memory. It was a typical Friday night. After praying earnestly for strength to overcome my weaknesses, I drifted into a deep sleep. In my dream, I found myself in a strange village, an eerie place where the inhabitants were divided into three distinct colors. The air was thick with an unsettling atmosphere and I felt an inexplicable fear. Seeking refuge, I hid in a nearby bush, terrified of the villagers. As I cowered in the darkness, an elderly man appeared, his presence commanding and mysterious. He was dressed in beautiful African cloth, adorned with vibrant colors that seemed to pulse with a life of their own. He approached me and, in a voice that was both gentle and firm, asked me to follow him. My fear overwhelmed me and I refused, trembling at the thought of the villagers seeing me. The man reassured me, those people you see in this village cannot see you, but you and I can see them. His words were both comforting and ominous. With no other choice, I followed him, my heart pounding with a mix of fear and curiosity. As we walked through the village, I witnessed horrifying sights. The villagers were not ordinary people. They were grotesque and deformed, their eyes filled with malice and hatred. Their bodies were twisted in unnatural ways, exuding a sense of corruption and decay. The elderly man revealed the truth. These were demons the architects behind the sin of masturbation and spiritual marriages. He spoke with a voice that resonated with authority and sorrow. I brought you here to show you the sins you are committing and have become addicted to on earth. This is not normal. There are dark forces behind them. You need to see them to understand the gravity of your actions and to free yourself from this bondage. The dream left me shaken to my core. The images of the demons and the strange village haunted me, a stark reminder of the unseen spiritual battles we face. It was a wake-up call, a dark and emotional revelation that urged me to confront my sins and seek redemption. This dream and the old man's words continue to echo in my mind, a chilling reminder of the unseen forces at work in our lives. It's a strange and dark journey, but one that I must face if I am to overcome the temptations that have ensnared me. The Demon of Lust This first demon I encountered was the Demon of Lust. He was tall with a snake-like body and eyes that glowed with an evil light. What I saw was that this demon whispered lies. 
enticing young people into the act of masturbation by making it seem harmless and pleasurable. He thrived on our desires and fed off the energy released during the act. I saw young men and women chained and shackled, unable to break free from their addiction to masturbation. The chains were symbolic of their spiritual bondage, holding them captive and preventing them from living a life of purity and holiness. The chains were not ordinary. They were forged from the very essence of the individual's sins and weaknesses. Each link represented an act of masturbation, a moment of giving in to temptation. The more frequent and intense the acts, the thicker and heavier the chains became. These chains were not just physical, but also spiritual, symbolizing the deep-rooted bondage that held these young people captive. As I watched, I saw how the chains weighed heavily on the individuals, causing them to slump and struggle with every step. The weight of guilt and shame was clear, pressing down on their shoulders and crushing their spirits. It was clear that these chains were designed to break their will, making it nearly impossible for them to stand upright, let alone walk in the freedom of Christ. Some of the individuals made desperate attempts to break free from their chains. They pulled and lifted, using all their strength, but to no avail. The chains seemed to tighten with every struggle, as if mocking their efforts. The pit of shame. Suddenly, the old man and I found ourselves standing at the edge of a big, bottomless pit. This was the pit of shame. Every time someone engaged in masturbation, I saw them being dragged into this pit. It began small, a slight slip, but with repeated actions, they fell faster and deeper. The more they gave in to their desires, the more they sank into the dark depths of shame. These young people who were addicted to masturbation were trapped. They were constantly attacked with accusations and lies from the demonic entities that hid in the shadows. These demons were shouting non-stop, saying, You're worthless. God can never forgive you. You'll never be free. One of the most shocking revelations was the spirit of isolation. This demon worked to isolate individuals, making them feel alone and unworthy of love and connection. It thrived on the secrecy and shame associated with masturbation, driving a wedge between the individual and their friends or loved ones. This isolation was a powerful tool of the enemy, keeping them from seeking help or confessing their struggles to others. Each person in the pit was bound by chains forged from their own regrets. These chains were heavy and constricting, wrapping tightly around their limbs and hearts. One could see the individuals in the pit trying to move, but the chains held them back, reinforcing their belief that escape was impossible. The regret of their actions weighed heavily on them, paralyzing them with fear and hopelessness. The Deception of Masturbation Many young people believe they have control over their urges, but in reality, they are puppets in the hands of these demonic forces. Masturbation often comes with a veil of deception. This demon made it difficult for individuals to see the true spiritual consequences of their actions. It clouded their judgment, making them believe that their actions were harmless and private. The demons delighted in seeing destinies destroyed and purposes unfulfilled. This elderly man explained to me that every act of masturbation stripped individuals of their spiritual power and authority, leaving them vulnerable to further attacks and unable to effectively fight back. To my fellow believers, especially the young people struggling with this sin, I urge you to take this testimony seriously. I have shared this testimony with the youth in my church and when I saw this channel, I decided to share my testimony with this channel so that more young people in this world will know this and run away from masturbation. Masturbation is not just a harmless act. It is a spiritual battle with eternal consequences. Seek God, repent, and break free from the chains of bondage.